Okay, so if you have the most basic understanding of what a fraction is, this should be a very easy problem to solve. Okay, so the question is, what fraction is shaded? Or what fraction represents what's going on in this figure right here? All right, now we do have a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 3 over 10, or 3 tenths. B is 1 half, C is 3 eighths, and D is 5 over 16, or 5 sixteenths. Okay, so once again, we want to determine or find a fraction that represents the shaded part of this figure. All right, now, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain what's going on here. All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is C which is 3 eighths. All right, now, if you got this right, will you definitely get a happy face in the A plus? And if you're like, uh, Mr. U2 Math Man, I'm a little bit lost. What's going on here? Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into it right now. So before we can solve this problem, we need to do a quick review on what a fraction is. Okay, so a fraction in mathematics is a representation of some part out of a whole. And uh, in a fraction, we have a fraction bar, which is the same thing as the division operation. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at some simple examples of fractions, and we'll use a nice little pizza here to help us out. Okay, so here is one whole pizza. Now, if I kind of slice this pizza in half, one side of this pizza is one half of this pizza. Okay, so the whole is the entire thing. So we have two uh, pieces here that make up the whole. So this slice right here is one out of two. Now uh, let's kind of take this a step further and uh, slice up our pizza in four slices. So here is our pizza, and let's go ahead and uh, slice it in four equal parts. Okay, so let's talk about this slice right here. So what is the whole pizza? Well, the whole pizza is represented by four slices. Okay, so this pizza has one, two, three, four slices. And this uh, part right here is one a slice out of the four uh, entire uh, slices that make up the pizza. So a fraction here that would represent this slice would be one over four or one fourth. Okay, so to solve this problem, we need to kind of determine what is the total whole of this figure, and then how many uh, pieces of this or how much of this whole is shaded. In other words, what is the part of this whole that is shaded? And then, of course, we want to compare these two things to construct a fraction. Now, just a real quick uh, thing about terminology. The top number in a fraction is called the numerator, and the bottom number of a fraction is called the denominator. And uh, there's a lot about fractions that we need to understand. I'm not going to be getting into everything here. But uh, one of the things that uh, you need to understand is that you need to uh, reduce or simplify fractions. Matter of fact, we'll see a little bit, of, little bit of this in just one second. So to solve this problem, to determine uh, what uh, fraction represents of this shaded area, we need to find the total number uh, here, the whole and the part. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, we can kind of think of this in this manner. So how many uh, boxes or, uh, do we have here? So this is some sort of grid, and uh, let's assume that each uh, little box here is uh, equal in dimension. All right, so we have one, two, three, four boxes here, okay, or four columns, and one, two, three, four rows. So what is the total number of boxes that we have in this figure? All right, so we need to construct that. That'll be our whole. And then how many of these uh, boxes here are shaded? That will be our part. All right, so this is not that difficult. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So uh, we have uh, 16 total boxes, right? So 4 times 4 is 16. And how many of these uh, boxes here are shaded? Well, we have 6 of these boxes that are shaded. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here is our part, and 16 is our whole. So now we can uh, construct a fraction to represent what's going on here. 
Okay, so the fraction is 6 over 16. All right, so this is the correct answer. And if you're like, Amos, do you two math, man? I got uh, 6 over 16. You know, why didn't I get full credit? Well, that's because you didn't simplify or reduce this fraction. Okay, so 6 over 16 is correct, but uh, we want to reduce or write this fraction in, uh, simple, in its simplest form. So 2 can uh, divide into 6 3 times, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So 3 8 is the same thing as 6 over 16. But uh, again, when it comes to fractions, we always want to represent them in their simplest form. All right, so 3 8 is the fraction that represents uh, this shaded area in this figure. Okay, now fractions are uh, critically important in mathematics, and uh, you need to know a lot about fractions. You need to know how to add and subtract fractions, which means you need to, you need to know about the LCD. You need to know how to multiply and divide fractions. You need to know how to go from mixed number fractions to improper fractions and vice versa. So fractions, you know, are one of these things that uh, really give students a difficult time. But uh, before you get too deep into trying to learn fractions, you need to understand the basic concepts of a fraction like uh, this particular problem right here. Okay, so remember, what you don't understand is not going to go away. So if you're like, yeah, I really don't understand that. Hopefully, I'll never see that again. That's not the way it works in math. So if you don't understand something, just remember you know, to kind of hone in and focus and work on that weakness until you do understand. And of course, the only way you're going to get better at math is to practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.